Hello guys! Today we continue talking about English language verbs and how to use simple past tense in English language. And uh, there are two types of verbs in English language. Regular verbs and irregular verbs. In order to form simple past tense with regular verbs, we use the suffix ed. Alright? Okay, class. So give me some examples of regular verbs. Play, yeah, that's a good one. Another one, cook, good. And let's use listen, good. So in order to form simple past tense, the suffix ed will be added to the verbs. For example, I cooked, I played, and I listened right the second part of the verbs is irregular verbs and for example irregular verb run the simple past tense would be ran so we would say yesterday I ran another example uh, make the simple past tense form is made so, in order to use irregular verbs in simple past tense, we have to memorize all these forms of the simple past tense irregular verbs. There are more than 500 irregular verbs in English language, so we have to be very careful when we use irregular verbs in simple past tense. So, right now, let me see how well you already know simple past tense with regular verbs and irregular verbs. So, in order to do that, let's listen to a very short lecture and you're supposed to fill in the blanks with the verbs that you hear. But be careful, some of them are regular and some of them are irregular. So, let's begin. Lecture 18. Listen to part of a talk from a radio program on the history of rock and roll music. Rock, or rock and roll, is a form of music that was invented in the United States in the 1950s. It has become popular in the United States, Europe, and many other parts of the world. African-American performers like Little Richard, Fats Domino, Ray Charles, and Big Joe Turner were among the first people to come out with true rock and roll, a combination of various elements from country and western, gospel, rhythm and blues, and jazz. The influences of early performers like bluesman Muddy Waters, gospel performer Ruth Brown, and jazz musician Louis Jordan on rock and roll are still felt today. For example, the songs of early country legend Hank Williams affected musicians from early rock star Buddy Holly to 80s rocker Bruce Springsteen. In the segregated 1950s, African-American musical forms were not considered appropriate for white audiences. Much of the U.S. population had not been exposed to them. All that changed when, in 1953, Cleveland disc jockey Alan Freed began to play rhythm and blues to a largely non-African-American audience. Freed was successful, and a lot of records were sold. The music spread, and the term that Freed had adopted for the music, rock and roll, began to spread as well. Teenagers and the money they were willing to spend on records provided an impetus for rock and roll. On their way to becoming rock stars, many performers copied songs from the original artists. For instance, Pat Boone scored a hit with the toned-down version of Little Richard's song Tutti Frutti, prompting Little Richard to comment, He goes and outsells me with my song that I wrote. In 1955 and 56, Chuck Berry, Bill Haley and the Comets, and particularly Elvis Presley, became famous for their version of traditional rhythm and blues. Elvis Presley's first television appearance in January 1956 marked rock and roll's ascendancy into the world of pop music. All right, guys, good job. Let's see your answers. The first sentence was, African-American performers like Little Richard, Fats Domino, Ray Charles, and Big Joe Turner were among the first people to come out with true rock and roll. So what do you have for the blank? Were, yeah, that's correct. Is it regular verb? 
or irregular verb. Irregular, correct. Let's see the next one. Legend, Hank Williams affected musicians from early rock star Buddy Holly to 80s rocker Bruce Springsteen. The verb is what? Affected, correct. Yeah, is it regular verb or irregular? Regular, that's correct, because it has the suffix ed. Let's see another sentence. All that changed when in 1953, Cleveland DJ Alan Freed began to play rhythm and blues to a largely non-African American audience. So all that changed, yes, the first verb is regular or irregular. Correct, regular. And the second missing is began. So tell me, is it irregular or regular? Irregular, that's correct. Good job, guys. I'm proud of you. Good job, class. With the help of this warm-up activity, now we know how to use simple past tense with regular verbs and irregular verbs, and how to identify if the verb is regular and irregular. So from now on, let's move on to the instruction section where we will study regular verbs and irregular verbs in simple past tense with more details and instructions. Let's move on.